allow me to show you guys how I run my business. So right now, let's go. You see, guys, go waru fara. Hey guys, welcome back to my lovely channel. My name is Shamila, guys. So I'm coming live and direct from my shop. So I'm in Wonder Valley, and guys, I'm at the heart, heart, the center of the village. Definitely, it's not easy being an entrepreneur, guys. Let me tell you that because it involves you being the designer, especially in fashion. Being the designer, you are the tailor, you want to uh, make the pattern, you want to advertise, so you become everything. And running the business, guys, itself is a hassle and uh, it's something that it requires discipline and um, consistent, guys, being there and showing up. And I believe the first thing when you get into your shop or on your business, wherever you are, wherever you are working, the first thing is to pray before you touch anything so that God will bless everything. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for this business that you have uh, given unto me. Continue blessing my business. I thank you so much for the blessings that you have already given unto me. Uh, the money, the customers, everything. May you please continue bless my business and make it a big business. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before you start doing business, you need to eat first. Business is so draining, guys. Hmm? Please, if you are new to this channel, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to leave a comment. If you are a fashionista, just like me. So, guys, my journey was not even easy to say uh, on the internet. Like, right now, it wasn't easy. So, I remember I started uh, uh, two, three years back there. I even posted my video. Like, I want to start uh, doing fashion. Here on my channel, you can check out that video, that old video, where I even started it warm guys with my baby on my back it wasn't easy so today we are taking talking about all things fashion so i want to become a full-time fashion designer where i design my own clothes just like that one and then i sell online guys who don't want to be like that so if you have a skill wherever you are whatever you are doing wherever you are you can start making money so some of my designs guys i prefer selling them online because where i am right now i tell i told you that i'm currently in the heart like at the heart of the village guys where people like they are just to bring their orders they bring you the same dress that they have last time <laughs> now because that dress is torn or is old they want a new one just like that they don't even think about you know i want you to put uh you know less over here beads over there please you know add some they do don't do that just make this clothes like just just make this cloth this dress this is what i want it depends with the location but wherever you are you can start doing fashion and guys i have got um i'm so positive about everything that i'm doing so the other thing is you have to know the value of your business the value you are offering like the value of everything what am i trying to say here there are people who come 
and told and tell you so many things like uh, you know the type of business you are running you know blah 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 it's not worth well why didn't you try doing this they are supposed to do that they don't have the right to come and tell you what to do and there are people who are like that more people will come they try to tell you what to do you are supposed to put this order you are supposed to do like that but if you know the value of your business you stand by your principles be firm enough so that your business will also stand that's what i know in business guys because there are so many good samaritans out there who want to run your business on your behalf huh they have failed on their own now they want to prove they can do it on your business just mind those little foxes so if you have a skill now you know where to do your business if you want to change where you are you know just for business sake so where i am i told you we are in the village there are no people who are like who think out of the box for me to design and be creative and be creative so if you are in the city your location is good because there is a higher chance of you being a competitor for someone else yeah you being creative because people come from different places to the city and they think different that's what the advantages of in being in the city and there are so many people there even the prices guys i can tell you that they are much higher in the city than here in the village a dress for me to make a dress when you come with your fabric i charge eight good dollars what's that and for me to make that dress i need an hour or an hour and a half to two hours that's eight dollars <laughs> that for me it makes sense because i'm in the village and they don't want for you to go even beyond that <laughs> they even negotiate guys when they came to you and say you know i've got uh six or seven dollars but because of my reputation everything you know we just talk and came out come out with something i don't chase away customers you know how the world is so anyway guys depends with the location you can do your business still do your business in the city where it goes very well and in the city you've got a higher chance of renting a table yeah you can become a chief executive officer of your own table. Me, I'm a chief executive officer of my own machine. <laughs> I always say if you're selling even tomatoes, guys, you've got a table selling tomatoes. You are hanging your bag. You are selling scrunchies. You are selling specs, whatever. You're selling pens. As long as you are selling something, you own that thing, you own that company, you are the chief executive officer of everything. So the location doesn't matter, you can still do a business. So I also want to mention, uh, when it comes, let's say, uh, Basarawanda at your shop, there are so many orders. Maybe it depends with the season, okay? It can be back to school season, some uniforms. People want uniforms, can be holidays, people want clothes, you know what? Just hire people who know what they are doing. Or what you can do is to teach your own, uh, you know, someone to help you. So what I did, I have taught my shadi over here. I've taught so many people, but I have, you know, luck just fell on here. <laughs> Am I like my shadi? Luck just fell on my shadi over there. She's busy right there and she so tired. <laughs> so luck just fell on my side. It's God's grace. I can't say uh, it's luck, but we work with God's grace. Yeah. So I'm working with my shadi. I trained my shadi by myself, guys. She knows what I want here. And she knows that I'm a confident, bold boss. I stand with what I want. But I, I also allow her to give uh her opinion how to run the business you know she told she has taught me so many things even if i'm the ceo okay she told me also so many things that i'm also using in my current shop to grow and grow and grow yeah i'm so excited about that one it's easy if you've got employers you know someone to help you here and there hey and also allow those people to express their feelings don't even allow the working environment to be a toxic because they are those people who help ask her, they are the ones who oversees everything yeah you know how it is if some, something is stolen if the money is not enough you know how it is just negotiate everything you know when you make money give them something so that people will continue to support and work you know hard towards the business towards uh, your business to be successful hmm? 
I'm not going to leave anything, even a comma on this topic. The best thing to do also is, is to introduce your family to the business so that it can be a family business. I still have my kids with me. I also try hard uh, to bring them here to see what I do so that they will in, understand like what mama does and what we get money and how we get money. Sometimes uh, naughty customers come, they shout at mama, you know how it is when you don't uh, connect with some customers because there are type of customers that are there like who are just waiting to <clears throat> at you. Of course, you have to be quiet and accepting and move on in life. So, also involve kids in the business, the family, so that uh, when you are not there anymore, they will continue with the business. We need to build my family business. Even this small, small business, they can make us survive for long. Nowadays, that skills, guys, are the most things that are paying. Of course, yes, we can talk about government jobs whatsoever, but skills, guys, the working environment, you create your own good working environment, mental health, you've got your own time to start, your own time to, you're not, you're not, you're not rushing against anything, you are just working uh, on your own terms, and the working environment should be good, you know, the humor, everything, just to be happy even inside the heart. So sometimes you have to understand and realize what services are you offering uh, on your business that makes you stand out. Is it the way you handle your customers? Is it uh, some bonuses or some extra um, free gift that you give to your customers? Is there anything that you do differently uh, on your business that makes people come, want to come, and that makes people want you to do their clothes? So let's talk about target audience. You cannot target everyone. So there's this interview that has happened. So a fashionista was being asked, so these clothes, who do you make your clothes for? Like, who is your target audience? So he explained that I all I love to make clothes for pastors. I love making clothes for, you know, uh, for modesty people. And, and the people are like, ah, everyone is modesty. You know, so who, like, tell us who exactly is your target audience. And he was like, ah, I'm targeting everybody. <laughs> I'm targeting everybody. And they said, ah, no, you know, he failed that interview because he was targeting everybody. And by just shooting it, at nothing if you, you can't get anything you can't get anything so you really need to, to 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 start making clothes for a target audience so as for me in this current shop of mine guys my target audience is mother and daughter mother and daughter yeah because we are in the village guys i target those ones and you know look at this let, let me show you something guys so as you can see as you can see here this is a dress that I have made recently, like yesterday. So this is the dress that I have made. It's a dress and a head wrap. This one is for the mother, right? And look at this one. It's a toddler's mother and daughter. So this is what I do currently in my shop. And I also design, as you can see, so that's my target audience. Men used to come and say, uh -uh, why are you stitching for women only? So that's, that, you know, that's where I have noticed I've got full potential. Uh, mother and daughter, I've got full potential and I know what I do when I'm doing uh, female clothes. Female clothes, I know what I will be doing. If you want to make more and more sales and to build a big clientele, uh, it depends with how you are standing out, how you are running the business, like how unique you are. What is it that you are doing for you? Like when people are at, um, at their home, they've got their fabrics with them. Now they are thinking, we want, uh, I want to make this, like I want to have a dress made from this fabric. Once they are at home, are they thinking about like the first option which comes to their mind? Is it you and why? And you need to make sure that they they think of you all the time when they uh, when they think of uh, fabrics. Number one, you have to offer variety of fabrics for them to choose from. If you have it, offer them variety of fabrics. Yeah. Then the other thing, the way you are handling customers when they are sitting inside, do you offer my chairs inside the the the, the shop? When they are sitting waiting for their products, are they chewing something? Are you providing something to chew, or? Like maybe you are in, uh, there's music in the shop. Like, I, I don't know how best you can be unique, but uh, let me mention this. Maybe you offer a free gift on top of uh, the product or on top of the dress you give, maybe a head wrap for them for, uh, for free. You know, uh, maybe you offer discounts. What is it that is mainly 
uh, making people think of you when they are at home. Like when they think about business, like sewing business, are they thinking about you the most? Do you offer ironing services? Like I will iron your clothes, you know, uh, I will polish, you know, I will do this. The way you do your business, does it make that does it make people want to come back to your uh, shop and want more and more and more and more? So you have to think around those areas if you want more, like if you want to make more and more sales. Then there's also this thing that I really want to mention: if you want to advertise your business entirely, you can make use of Facebook. Post it there. If you don't risk, you're not going to make it. If you don't risk, you're not going to make it. Number two, you can use Instagram. You can use YouTube. You can use so many platforms. TikTok, there are so many platforms. WhatsApp, I can name and name. But there's this thing, word of mouth. So what I do, I always come to my shop putting on my attire. I always have a piece of attire on myself when I come to my shop. So that way people will be like, what is that uh, you are wearing? Like, who made that one? And you know, some people who don't know you, they will just say, you know, you just say, it's me. I've got a shop there, there. You can visit there and check and just see, you know, put on the things that you make. Make people have, just try to make people have your item at their fingertips. That way the word will spread like wildfire. And then also the business will grow, guys. It's not long that, uh, since I've been uh, here at the shop. Almost a year and a half, I think. Yeah, yeah. Is it almost a half? From October 2022. So October 2022. October 2023. Oh. One year and some months. And the word is spread like wildfire, I can say, because I know if it hasn't been like that, I would not have been here because no one would be coming to my shop. But um, that's what I do, guys. That's what is supposed to be done when you're doing business. Make people think about you when they are at their houses. <laughs> So for men's clothes, I can't say I can't make female male clothes, but I'm not interested. That's not my target audience. That's not my target audience. So it depends with who you want to target. You can target the bridal um, people. You can target, uh, you know, nowadays people are doing marora squads. Yeah, they're doing so many. You can just make yourself like stand out. What is it that you want to make? Do you want it to be a bridal tailor, bridal designer? I don't know, you know. Do you want to make clothes for men? Do you want to design for uh, boys? Do you want to design for birthdays? Do you want to design for cultural events? Just be known for something else. So the other thing, guys, don't be afraid to grow. Don't be afraid to grow. Continue to research what you want to become next what next about your business what is it that you want to do new onto your business how do you want to grow it like do you want to be stagnant continue taking orders from the community if they don't come you just be like there sitting feel the need to grow when it comes to your sewing business or any business that you're doing feel the need to to grow continue researching see how others are doing so by doing that you'll be busy visiting other people's uh, shops and then you see how they are doing it you know so that you not be left out on trending things that is really happening outside there yeah see what they are making how they are doing it how customers are you know you know you will notice that how customers are responding to the things that are happening outside the world visit by that you need to go by yourself to other people's shops and see how they are doing it be a competitive uh, business owner that way you grow when i was in harare guys i was in the i was in the city and i have noticed that there are so many tailors doing one thing so in the in in that location i decided to do my pajamas Hey, I stand like I stood out from uh, everybody and I started to do my pajamas. Only that I came here, I, 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 you know, I left everything there in the city. You know how village life is. No one put on pajamas here. <laughs> even us, maybe we, we don't even put also pajamas. <laughs> Yeah, we have adopted the culture of just going to bed just like that. So anyway, I'm trying to say you just know your target audience when you are doing, want to do fashion. And that's how you are going to stand out. And make sure your designs are, you know, are the best. Besides listening to your customers, what they want, 
if you ever take a look at your pricing strategies the prices and the location also makes your business successful because here i'm at the center ka? here village guys the root like the heart of the village of the village as a village of the village and it ka? so i can't charge more and more because here people they are not you know it's not a busy uh city or it's not a busy village where we can say uh you know people are making money of course yes here in Wonde valley they sell my bananas and zimbe whatsoever but does that mean i should charge my products more and uh before i uh, stated my uh sewing price i've already um did a search on what people are offering so what i did i i i searched around like how like what do you charge address i asked so many people and they told me that they are charging some seven dollars some five dollars some six dollars to make a dress and i told myself with the services that i'm going to offer i'm going to top up a dollar for seven dollars then i do eight dollars i can even charge up to ten dollars depends with the style of course yeah it depends with how you are managing your business so and you also need to see the reaction of the customers if you say it's eight dollars as they saying oh like is it relatable the prices are they relatable for a fabric like six for my 5.5 um, meters i charge it some six dollars yeah and some eight dollars it depends those they are they go for seven dollars so it depends so guys my prices they also uh, contribute to, uh, to our successful business the other thing guys that i want to talk about is capital and customers feedback so when i talk about capital i i when you watch my old video i started with eight fabrics eight fabrics guys when i talk about eight fabrics i'm trying to say that you see this one you see this one this one there were eight of them this ankara fabrics i had eight of them that's how i started my business this shop was very like it was empty now it's like that you see now it's like that it's not like that i'm not successful yet no i can't say i'm not, i can't say that i'm not successful yet but i'm still going but uh where i am right now you know um i can say I, I i i'm still going guys i'm still going this is not a, what i like i want myself to be like I'm, I'm not like this is what i want i'm not yet there i'm still going but i'm just here to share my thoughts and my opinion if you have got some other thoughts or how to grow the business guys please just share then i was talking about the capital so i started with eight machira and itka then later on uh, i started uh, increasing and increasing adding on adding on you know uh it's not easy for people to identify you they need to identify you by the way you dress so it's my rule that i always dress as a fashionista my african print from monday to friday that's advertising so people know me when they when they see me they first notice my african dress i always come to work with my uniform with my african dress so that's how people notice it that oh, oh who made that dress and i was like it was me i want mine too so i will direct them go to the shop number chakati if you don't have a shop you can tell them come to my house or if you don't want let's meet somewhere else there you take their fabric and do your magic and wonders there they ch you charge your own time you charge everything your yarn your, your, your needle you charge your electricity you charge your labor there and there and you charge your profit there that's what we do so you can start with ten dollars as long as you have the machine first thing invest in a sewing machine invest in a skill and then boom you can start even without fabrics you can start by uh asking your relatives do you have fabrics so that i can make some clothes for you you make their their clothes you know that's how we spread the word of you being a fashion entrepreneur then let's talk about uh customers feedback guys it's very important i remember my first customer guys if i bring her here <laughs> you cry with me it was not easy guys i i i made something uh she wanted uh, uh um a nice dress something nice something nice she even showed me the dress but hey what she ordered this is what she received 
I'm still ashamed of myself from that year. It was 2019. That's when I started like I'm being a tailor. You know, I was still dobbing, dobbing here and there. So above everything, guys, uh customers feedback is so amazing. If they told you to change something, don't be harsh on them. Just accept your mistakes. And because we accept mistakes, that's that that is how we grow by accepting our mistakes. Yeah that's the way i have noticed that way we can grow accepting our faults and then we grow you also need to remember that when you are doing people's um orders the time you are taking making their clothes so when i came here to the shops uh i was very new and i you know getting into the market people will be sizing you like Aha, what does she do but when i came here at uh, the first few months i first started like what people like so i was asking uh people any guys and Dinyari, i've got so much confidence in me even god himself can testify <laughs> so i was busy asking like uh guys monosone sepi hembe like where do you such clothes are made guys i told you last time but if you hear my english stammering stammering my ancestors do my ancestors will be twisting and trying to stop me from doing youtube man uh -uh. never they are not going to win but anyway <laughs> so what i'm trying to say here guys is um when you ask people uh where they have uh made their clothes from i don't know guys uh -uh. which tailor did they use <laughs> yeah let me be calm so you ask there you know you ask they will tell you so i was told that uh our dresses are not being made in time yeah our dresses are not made in time two to three years you know we have got few tailors here our 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 products are not being ironed let alone packaging yo 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 so i was like oh my jesus i'm gonna offer these services fire 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 so that makes me stand out that's why i'm still here that's why even guys you can testify my shop is different now it's even full full and full and full and full and full huh? this is all mine guys huh? i'm the chief executive officer of shami stitch and style <laughs> yes guys uh and that makes me uh stand out so offering products like time time are you offering like time even they won't be afraid even to pay more money if you're offering their service on time guys so today here i've got this dress guys that i'm still making let me show you i've got this it came yesterday guys and precious Antina, i've got a lot and a lot which is going on so she came yesterday she was pleading she wants to go to a funeral you know so she told me please and she even paid her money can you make my dress so that tomorrow i will go and guys this is what i'm busy busy doing she didn't even tell me the style to do and i started to style in such a way that nobody like what what don't, no one has this style i know so when my customers came here i always tell my customers did you know i fit here because guys because adults it's not a joke it's brain wrecking your brain will be twisted and twined and twined because they will be disturbing and telling you some styles that hey and you'll be like uh uh this is still you are hi 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 and they'll be trying to reason with you so you end up with a in that twined a dna yeah strand yeah twist and twist and that's what happens but anyway guys just make sure you are standing out on your business you are doing that way you make more and more and more sales. Even not as you feel away, you are not doing economic growth where you are just exchanging money in fabric all the time. No profit. If there is profit, we realize guys, your life will be changing. The shoes you are putting on, guys, there is no change your boots because you will be buying from profit. You have also one an okubatira. Ah yeah. You also have even one anokubatira because you know, but basically guys business is ah a whole lot of another chapter in a whole universe on itself <laughs> you know that patience ah yeah right
thank you so much then we go to our marriage you know guys if you work hard apa ipenda ku rent contributing towards rent then the other thing that i want to mention over here guys uh make sure you practice as you go practice some new things practice some designs practice so many things and because and uh be neat uh, your stitch be neat people will come back for you for because of the work that you are doing then the other thing that i want to say here guys that is final i want to talk about uh customer service customer service is very important when the customer gets into your shop or into your working area stop whatever you are doing if you continue doing what you are doing ignoring the customer or shout at them they will go forever and they will go in hundreds because that customer was supposed to bring more and more and refer more people to your shop but because you have shouted at them you have ignored them why are you there why are you doing the business they will go away in hundreds they will not recommend you so for you to grow your successful uh business your fashion business you really need to make sure that your customer service is number one because customer is a king without customers we won't be here and for us to squeeze and squeeze that money from them we really need to make sure we uh take care of our customers needs and listen to their pleas and listen to everything they are saying of course there are not customers here and there but you will notice after you talk to them uh several times you notice that mm wako dot on this wash this customer hey now she's becoming you know you will know that but the situation into he learned how to handle my situations then guys i cannot go without saying this thing it's possible for you to grow I'm still growing. I'm still dreaming and dreaming and dreaming until I become a successful big YouTuber with a big fashion brand. <laughs> That's what I want, guys. Ah uh ah. -uh. Is it bad sharing my thoughts with you? Yeah. So for that to happen, we need to make sure that we start doing everything not just thinking but start doing everything the right way there are no shortcuts we need to advertise we need to invest we need to work hard and uh, pursuing fashion is a good thing you become very creative and especially if you if it is your passion uh guys you're going to make it so let's not forget guys to show up every time even when you make a mistake show up at your business don't hide show up and show that uh, remorseful show that you are feeling guilty on what we have done because we are there people will make mistakes show up for your business you have working hours for your business you know be available so as for my shop guys we open monday to friday and weekend guys going to church will be relaxing my shadow will be busy relaxing saturday doing whatever she wants to do and me personally i'll be relaxing on sunday do what i want to do then monday guys we are serious back on business so have working hours have working hours that way yeah everything will come nicely and you'll be very very successful and more people will connect it to you i remember i used to have a problem with uh, my cell phone up to now that system has not been yet sorted out my phone now is in that reachable because of where we stay so i have given access uh, also to people who get my shadis number yeah and i will get that second hand information from my shad you know how and how it is they don't have to contact me all the time sometimes i'm unreachable <laughs> so show up on your business be there personally arranging things you know uh wiping wiping down it shows be hands on your business sometimes be hands on Also sometimes clean your shop by yourself, huh? Just around organize. Yeah, that way everything will go smoothly, you know. It shows that you are there. Eat lunch. So guys, there are people who are making their bread here. Hmm? In the village they are busy baking bread. This one cost 50 cents, huh? How good it is. It's so fluffy. Even the amount of sugar, oh, it's it. So I'm eating this for lunch, guys. 
I don't have to eat fancy, fancy food eh? because I'm at work. You don't do that. <laughs> I don't need to prove myself that I'm making money. Eh? I prove by supporting other people's businesses. Eh? If you want to be successful, support other people's businesses. Whilst you are introducing yourself, support other people's business. This one is costing 50 cents, so it's dollar for two. Because that way, guys, you'll be busy networking, networking, exchanging ideas. Hmm? Giving them feedback to the dry sugar. Try my dying. <laughs> So until in our next video, if there is anything guys that I have left out, I want you to pinpoint everything in the comment section. Please, please. I want you to pinpoint everything. And remember guys, I have said that you can do so many things. There are things, yo, I also wanted to mention this. There are things guys that you can do without a skill. My tote bags. Like my tote bag. Let me show you something guys that I want to show you. I have taught people how to make these tote bags, these ones. Something to carry your grocery in, like grocery bags. This is what I have made recently and I also uh, managed to give my people here on internet, my online family, uh, like the pattern and everything else for them to follow. You can also do something without um, sewing skill. It doesn't mean that if you want to pursue sewing, you only need to have a fashion skill. That's a no, no for me. You can also do my scrunchies, like scrunchies. You can also do my tote bag ziwaya. You can do my repovers. There are so many things that I've taught over here for you to start doing. So many things that we can do, guys. You can even search on internet. Use YouTube, guys, to research everything about fashion. So until in our next interesting video that we are doing, thank you so much, guys, for coming back and watch my videos over and over and over again. Thank you so much for supporting your girl, Shami, here, who is in the heart, like, at the heart of the village, guys, doing wonders. Then don't forget that if you have got a skill guys you can also teach i teach people how to make clothes let me show you guys that table over there with those two machines with those two machines guys i teach people how to make clothes so that's also how we can do our facial in the meantime whilst you are investing on your business whilst you are busy busy trying to make your life a uh, living wonder a miracle you can even start uh, teaching people how to make clothes it can be online or physical charge them money charge them your hours that's what we do guys here and that's what we do in the fashion industry navigating through this difficult uh path for us to be successful as a fashion designer so guys if you found this interesting please subscribe i talk too much <laughs> yeah please uh subscribe to my channel don't forget to like the video and don't forget to comment i want you to leave a comment if you have been if you have watched this video guys and you have benefited or i have inspired someone please 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 before you chop your money uh -uh, i want you to comment Bye. I love you. Stay safe.